Welcome to General Foods International Coffee's Coffee House Sessions. I'm your host, Pat the Nizio. Our guests this week are the Divinals and the Mighty Lemon Drops. I feel like dancing. Pick it up! Da, 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 da. else that I would rather do. General Foods International Coffees presents the Coffee House Sessions, hosted by Pat Denizio, singer and songwriter for the Smithereens. You're listening to the Coffee House Sessions. I'm your host, Pat Denizio, and our guests live in the studio in New York City are the Divinals, Mark and Christina. Hi. Hi. This is your fifth album, the one you're currently supporting on tour. In fact, you're, you're playing tonight as we speak at the Ritz in New York City. I know we're doing two live shows today, now yeah. and tonight. It's incredible. Well, what was it like writing with, with Steinberg and Kelly? I mean, I, I, I say this from a rather loaded point of view because I was put in a situation where I was writing with them as well. Well, for me, um, it, I'd written with them before and um, I'd never recorded anything though, that we'd written and Cindy Lauper recorded a song of ours that we'd written called Like a Cat and I done other things for them and it's sort of you know when you're not doing anything and you kind of like go around and you do something you know what I mean on yeah. days off and um, I suppose you know lyrically sometimes I find Billy a bit sweet so maybe the combination of the two of us is kind of a good thing and um, I think um, when the four of us wrote together um, it was um, probably a good combination because of our style and maybe, you know, because of theirs. Did you get together in the same room with them? Yeah. And really hash it out? I, I was amazed because of uh, Billy's writing technique. All the lyrics are done ahead of time. Yeah, because we never write like that. We usually, the music comes first. Yeah, same here. But, like, we sat down and wrote the lyrics first and then um, uh, he came up with I Touch Myself. He ran me up and he said, oh, you know, do you want to do some writing? And I said, yeah. And he says, well, I've got some titles. What one do you like? And he just started naming. And I said, oh, I like that one, which was I Touched Myself. Yeah. And then, um, so we went and sat in a cafe and did the lyrics. And then <clears throat> met up with Mark and Tom. <clears throat> and then did the music. So it was good. Well, why, why don't you give us a song? And can you set this song up lyrically or tell, you know, for the benefit of the audience out there in College Radio Land that's listening? Uh, that perhaps don't have a clue as to how songs are actually written or where the lyric content comes. Well, actually, this is a Billy and Tom song that we're going to do, and it's an acoustic song, and because this was an acoustic show, this was one of the only acoustic songs we had. So that's why we're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's called I'm On Your Side, and um, they came into the studio. We were recording, and they came in on an acoustic guitar singing this to me, and um, it made it on the record. Remember when we met The way you made me laugh How could I forget I found my better head Well, lately I've been feeling strong And you've been falling behind I Tell me what went wrong Cause I can't Stay. You 
times you face through the wall If you put your faith in me I catch you when you fall Where, where are you guys based out of now? Where are you spending most of your time? I mean, just from reading the, the promotional materials from the record company, it seems like there's a lot of L.A. people playing on the record. Well, there's not really. There's one, Randy, who's kind of really like that, but he's wonderful. He's not, you know, like L.A. people. Yeah. Sounds like a dirty word, you know, doesn't it really? <laughs> it is. It is. It's like they, they all seem so phony. Well, you know what I mean, that session thing, you know, yeah. pause or something, isn't it? But Randy is a Randy's Randy's a Randy's not like that, and you know he's not like that at all, is he? And <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a bit of well, I don't know, he's a bit of a, a whore in the good sense, I think, you know. But is, um, is there a good he's sense? wonderful. He's a wonderful bass player. And then Charlie's from here, actually. Charlie's from New York, and yeah. Char Charlie, Charlie never Charlie definitely doesn't do anything that he doesn't want to do. Want to do? So really, he's not really kind of an LA type. So. Um, Charlie did the Keith Richards record and the B-52s record and um, I think he just played bass on the Colt record. He played drums on our record. He's one of those talented... Yeah, it's pretty, pretty versatile, isn't it? Yeah, and then, um, and then Ben Mond, of course, was in the Heartbreakers and he played the Hammond organ and piano on our record. So if you could call them L.A. types, it didn't... Because we approached the record very much like a band. And so, you know, it wasn't like, hey... How, how long was the whole process from the pre-production to the actual recording, you know, the completion of it? Well, Mark and I did all our pre-production ourselves, so nobody else was involved in that. And then... Um, you pretty much demo things up and send it, send it out to the other players? Or? No, we don't even do that. No, we sort of demoed everything up, so we had it all together and stuff um, before we went into the studio. But uh, when we, um, you know, like all the ideas were sort of put down on tape and everything like that. But it's not good to sort of like beat everybody over the head with it. We didn't so even play them the songs until the some day... Some of them we didn't play, yeah. Well, we until the day that we'd record no, them. No, well not some of, of them, all of them. We would, what we'd do every day, we would um, get into the studio, say... Listen to it. ...about midday and have lunch. And then at about three o'clock by the time we'd all sort of eaten and calmed down and we'd... Um, Stopped arguing. <laughs> Listen, we'd put the song on, and Charlie and Randy would hear it, and they'd say, oh, well, we can play that better. Mm -hmm. And then they would get into the studio and play it better, which is basically how... And, and then we'd work all day and probably get the take by about 11 o'clock that night. And then we'd just play it, bash it around the four of us, Mark, myself, Randy, and Charlie, would just four of us would get in the studio and just play it all day till 11, and then... And then we'd put it down about 11, and then after we got the track right... We'd you know, start on another one. Right, we'd start celebrating till about, oh, 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, what we'd to first... But the Mark, we'd, we'd <coughs> listen to the next song that we were going to do the next day, and we'd bash that around for an hour or so, and then we'd celebrate. So we were prepared, yeah, and everybody would know what we were going to do. But there wasn't any, like, sending the tapes out to the band, no rehearsal or anything. We just got in... And it kept everything very spontaneous. Yeah. Scary, but spontaneous. No, I think that's a refreshing approach, actually, instead of beating it to death. You can't. Yeah. We didn't really celebrate. Yes, we did. Till six if... in the morning. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, oh, okay. <coughs> so what are we going to do? We're going to do Love uh, is a Gun. Okay, Love is a Gun. <coughs> been listening to the coffee house sessions and our guests live in the studio in new york city have been the divinals christina and mark thank you very much
Thanks, I'd like a cup of coffee now. Yeah. <laughs> Put you in the shit, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you sounded great. This is your host, Pat Denizio. I'm stuck in a dentist chair in Manhattan right now. I broke a tooth on a jawbreaker. So here's your host, for the moment, Rob Stevens, interviewing the mighty Lemon Drops. Thanks, Pat. Uh, this is Rob Stevens. You're listening to the Coffee House Sessions. And it's my privilege to be here with the Mighty Lemon Drops. Welcome. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Okay. Um, why don't we start uh, with a song, and then we can talk afterwards. Okay. And if you want to set it up, maybe let us know what it is. And Yeah, this is called uh, Into the Heart of the Love um, of Laughter. I have been laughed said about a year and a half ago. One, two, three, four. Searching for, but I'll keep it to myself right now. Just wait for what's in store. I won't give a reason, there won't be no sign, and I'll make sure you don't know. But when it hits you, I feel fine. It's my decision. As I've suffered for so long now This has got to be the way There won't be no sorrow No time for any tears By the time you get what's coming It will be too late for fears It's my decision things I noticed right away is that what we've got here are, are fairly melodic pop songs, but with a much grittier delivery. I mean, mm -hmm. your voices are just grittier. They're not, you know, pretty boy voices. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that that makes for a much more unique sound, to be honest, than, uh, okay. than uh, a lot of other groups that, that maybe melodically have the same <laughs> roots and, you know, change-wise and structure-wise have the same roots, but it, it gives the sound a, a real distinctive kind of flavor. It's, we're, we're, I was going to say it's nice to be able to get that across doing it acoustically. Yeah, you know, yeah. so. It may even come across more acoustically Maybe, because, yeah. um, mm. than, it, than it would in a band setting where everything is rougher edge to begin with, but here the contrast yeah. between the quality of the voices and, and, um, and the chord changes and the melodic kind of structure make it very evident, and that, that well, I think is a very positive thing. Well, this is something that's like really new to us, actually. We've not, it's, it's, well, it's not the first time we've ever really done anything like this. So. <laughs> you mean you've played your share of... Uh, it, it is the first time you've done No, it, it is it the is first a, time yeah. that we've ever done anything Acoustic, anywhere. Like, yeah. Really? Yeah. We've, we've taken like guitars into radio stations before and just like Dave just played and I just sang like a, mm -hmm. you know, a quick one song, but we never sort of actually recorded anything. And, 
<laughs> Interesting. You, you never spent time in pubs or anything like that? We just spent time in pubs. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> the wrong reasons. <laughs> <laughs> right, other activities. Um, speaking of pubs, where in, where are you from? Uh, we're both for, um, originally from Wolverhampton, which is like the centre of England, uh, near to Birmingham. Mm -hmm. uh, Dave's now living in London. Mm -hmm. sort of like, it's, uh, it's quite a lot of stuff actually you now coming out from the area that uh, we're, we're sort of brought up in. There's like bands like The Wonder Stuff and probably itself, Ned's Atomic Dustbin are all... It's weird because like about five years ago there was like nothing. Like the only band of any of the people were, I don't remember a band called Slade. Sure. Oh, of course, yeah. Sure. Well, I mean, they're like, <laughs> they were like the big Wolverhampton band, but now there's like quite a lot going on there. Well, I think there's been, a, um, there's been an outbreak of groups from other parts of England besides London. Yeah. And I think it's almost at this point fashionable not to be from there. Like and it. coincidentally, you happen not to be from there. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> um, okay, why don't you play something else and we can talk more? Okay, Jim. Uh, get unkind out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> get, un get unkind out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four. I'm kind. I never thought that you could be. I'm kind. You're whistling. I have. guess that song is done on the record with twanging electrics, 12 strings possibly? Or? Yeah, that's yeah. It. it is actually a 12 yeah. string record back a sort yeah. of riff. That's, that's the riff that you were playing on the acoustic. That um, is, yeah. More, more than hinted at that kind of sound. <laughs> uh, it sounds um, right on an electric 12. Yeah. Okay. I'm here with two members of the Mighty Lemon Drops, uh, Paul Marsh, vocals and guitar, yeah. and uh, Dave Newton on lead guitar and singing some backing vocals. Mm -hmm. The other two members of the band who are not with us today are Marcus Williams, bass player and Keith Rowley. That's right, yeah. That's right, yeah. Drums. On drums. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't you play one last thing for us? <coughs> okay. Okay. Go on. Inside, inside out. Well, have a go at inside Well, out. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four. Waiting for the last train Standing in the pouring rain and hoping that you'll never feel the same again Lying wide awake at night Sleeping in the morning light I'm Doing all these things Although I shouldn't be ashamed of them You can't stop my heart from turning inside out Try to stop my world from turning Inside out 
Clutching on the last straw Seeing things I never saw You pushed me down I found to a place I didn't know too well Waiting for the last train Standing in the pouring rain Although I try to break this spell I know I haven't got a hope in hell You can't stop my heart from turning inside out Try to stop my world from turning inside out You called it a day Chances, wasting time, holding on to you draw the line. One step forward, two steps back, you're nearly gone. Waiting for the last train, standing in the pouring rain, lying wide awake at night, sleeping in the morning light. You can't stop my heart from turning. Inside out, try to stop my world from turning inside out. You can't stop my heart from turning inside out. Try to stop my world from turning inside <laughs> well, considering that uh, that this context is new to you or relatively new to you, it's really coming out quite nicely. Right. Uh, I'm here with Paul Marsh and Dave Newton of the Mighty Lemon Drops. Um, <coughs> gentlemen, me. thank you very much. This, you, the sound is deceptively unique in that, you know, um, okay. again, the juxtaposition of the kind of rougher vocals mm -hmm. with these melodies really make for a unique sounding group and presentation. And I wish you. Great luck. Thanks a lot. I've enjoyed it. It's been yeah, really strange. We're <laughs> <laughs> really worried about it on the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks. Back to you, Pat. Thanks, Rob, for that interview with the Mighty Lemon Drops.